Hello. Scorpio. <laughs> I had to think about who I was reading for. How are you guys? I'm not on, I am on the river, but I'm not like moving for this. I'm gonna sit. There, the situation, Scorpio, that you're in is calling for you to be brave. For some of you, um, you might be connecting with a cancer, you have cancer in your chart, or um, this past cancer new moon might have been significant for you. I get the energy here that there is a masculine energy that feels I get one Scorpio there's somebody here that wants to come back around but a lot of it has to do with the fact that you're standing in your power for some of you this this might be two two masculines or um it might be a like homosexual relationship uh same sex relationship I get that it's it if so it's men masculines um, one person's a little bit more dark than the other. One's a little bit more playful. If this isn't like same sex, it, both of you are showing up as masculine. And I get one person is like very much in their power. It might be a fire sign. For some of you, it's a Gemini. A fire sign or a Gemini. If not, there might be um, Scorpio, if that's not your situation, it also might be that there's a feminine that has two masculines in your energy. And one, um, one is coming back around, but it's because they're seeing you. This person, take it how it resonates. There's a, there's a younger masculine here that kind of, and it doesn't have to be younger in age, they're younger in energy. Um, this person, and again it it might be a gemini they they get bored easily they got bored in the connection so they they kind of abandoned you and i get the way that they did it was in a not cruel for some of you it might have been cruel but the way that this person acted towards you was like not okay they were being influenced by other people For some of you, this person, um, the Gemini energy, really likes to be babied. And they act immature. I, I get that they gossip a lot too, or they, they listen to gossip from other people. This person has a fear. They fear you. They, they feel like you are cold. But they're experiencing clarity now. They're experiencing clarity because for some of you, it's, it's not too, like, it could be same sex. If so, there is, if it is a same sex situation, I get that it's men, it's two men. Um, one person is more immature in nature. They got bored. They, they wanted to go try other things. The other person is very much in their power. And it might have even been that there was a power imbalance here and it caused the person that was more immature in nature to uh, run and they might be wanting to come back around now because they they see you in your power but for a lot of you I get that there's it's a feminine energy with two masculines and there was again the the younger Gemini energy has a immature energy and I also get that in a like <clears throat> heteronormative way they like to be with women that baby them. So they like to be with women that take care of everything for them. They're just like super immature and childish. And I get they have some mommy issues. They might have had like an overbearing mother or a mother that like, it was like a codependent, emotionally um, <clears throat> inappropriate. I just get they're like super immature. And it's almost like they didn't want to deal with you they, they're, the younger energy here rejected you. And 
it was like they thought that you were boring honestly scorpio they thought that you were boring for others of you it's like they wanted they rejected you for somebody else they went towards somebody else that was more willing to put up with this like childish behavior but now you've you've attracted um an older man they're saying that is I get the older, the older one. Hold on a second. So the older man here, <clears throat> they're much more in their power, but I get that this person there, they see you as a challenge and they're interested in you, the older energy. I get a fire sign energy. Um, for some of you, it's, they have Leo strong in their chart or it's strongly expressed. It might be like a rising sign. Um, they, they, the older, I'm just going to say like the, the signs, but you have to take it how it resonates and it doesn't necessarily mean that it's their sun sign. This is the energy that they're embodying. The Leo I get is they have a, they have a trickster energy to them and it's because of what they've dealt with in the past. I get that this is a like play or be played sort of energy. They they wait to pursue anybody because they don't want to be played. But I also get that they have a, a tricky energy to them too, Scorpio. It's almost like this person is trying to outsmart you, trying to outwit you in some way because they think that you um, you remind them of a karmic they dealt with in the past. And I get that whatever karmic relationship this was, they, they have an ex that basically like drained them financially. I also get like drained them of like um their time and energy this their ex that they dealt with was the type of person that like um catastrophized catast catastrophized everything it was an energy vampire their ex was an energy vampire and like constantly in crisis um spent a lot of this person's money made this older leo energy feel responsible for them Especially financially, I get finances are really important here. This person, the Leo Scorpio, they like spell work. It, they're um, they're fascinated by you, is what they're saying. This person knows that you do spell work, and in one part, it makes them cautious to come towards you because they don't want to be manipulated. Their ex, again, they have an ex that was extremely manipulative and left them worse than when they found them. Like this person had to like recover. Um, mentally and financially they're saying from their ex I get that their ex had like a lot of pulled a lot of people into their relationship too and like played the victim so it might have even been that their ex like tried to paint them as like abusive or paint them as like controlling I don't get that they, they were very controlling. I get that they felt a strong sense of duty, is what they're saying, to take care of this ex, and it blew up in their face. And I get that the ex pulled, like they had mutual friends. The ex like kind of like ruined relationships for them or like permanently changed the way this person is viewed by their mutual friends because of like lies were told. Like I get this ex is kind of like dark. They get what they want out of manipulating others and they like even like, it's almost gives me like smear campaign against the Leo. They tried to like turn people in the community against the Leo. This person, their ex might even do witchcraft but they do like baneful magic. So their ex might have even like tried to hex them. For some of you like their ex like might have paid somebody to hex them or like they dabble in witchcraft themselves, their ex. So the, I get the Leo is interested in you, but they're cautious, obviously. They have to learn how to like, um, find wisdom in, in the darkness of life and see that like their life, your life, Scorpio, this is you. Uh, it's a reflection of how you see yourself. If you see yourself as like powerful and you can overcome anything, it really doesn't matter what happens. It doesn't matter what comes after you is what they're saying. Oh, there's a really intense energy. <laughs> it's so intense, like right behind you. I talked about this a little bit in the um, 
cancer reading. They, they wanted to be involved in this reading, but their energy is like, I don't want to say it makes me uncomfortable. It's just intense. For a lot of, a lot of you, it's, it's could be the Scorpio, but I also get, it could be the Leo. If this person has pulled back from you, Scorpio, I wouldn't take it personally is what they're saying. Uh, some of you might be protected. They're saying that um, for some of you, the, the ex dabbles in like pretty heavy spell work and your spiritual team is keeping this Leo from you. And they're causing the Leo to be unsure about you because, and they're kind of hiding your value from the Leo is what they're saying. So don't take it personally. They're hiding your value because they want to protect you. And their energy is very, this is very much Scorpio energy. Whatever is protecting you has very intense energy. I'm going to have to take my glasses off again. I'm telling you there, there's, there's a spirit. It's, it's a spirit that's connected to me. That's why it's, it's triggering me a little bit. The occult is scary to deal with. Anyone that tells you the cult isn't scary is bullshitting or they're not actually connected to the cult. They're not like love and light. Not real. There is a balance of like light and dark. And a lot of times it's the spiritual nature um, that has a tendency to flip dark a lot because it's, it's, one of those things. Somebody has Pisces placements too. It's like the 12th house, the subconscious. There are things in your subconscious that are, for some of you, this is a message for, there's a Leo cross watcher, or you might be the Leo in this situation. Somebody is coming more into their power, but if, if people are being repelled from you right now, Scorpio, don't take it as rejection. Take it as you are being protected by your spirit team. Because for some of you, you have a really strong spiritual team. For a lot of you, it's ancestral spirits. They're not going to let this person come in and, and disrupt your life. So they either got to come in correct or not at all. And I'm getting that this like third party X for if, if it is Leo placement, they got to deal with their X first. Because your spiritual team is not going to allow this person to come in. Ugh. There is heavy spiritual energy in this. I'm, I have, there's like an angel spirit. There's an ancestor spirit. There's like a lot of fairy spirits right here. I wanted to come right here to do the readings. I knew they would be good here, but I also knew this energy was going to be like a lot. Like it, it's, it's normal to get scared. It's normal to be scared because there, there's a part of ourselves that is scary, especially as a Scorpio. You guys are like the, the spooky guys of, I would, I would entertain Pisces as well because Pisces is a subconscious. So with Pisces, it truly depends on what's in your subconscious. Um, if you have placements in your subconscious or some of you might have a um, Scorpio is in your 12th house or you have Pluto in your 12th house. Your 12th house is significant. You might want to find out what planets are in your 12th house or if you have Pisces placements. Some of you might like be attracting a Pisces in your life that's going to teach you a lesson they're going to take you on a wild ride if it's for the Scorpio dealing with a Pisces you've got to trust <laughs> I'm not saying this because I'm a Pisces take this how it resonates for some of you it's a Pisces or this person is compatible um Something in their chart is significant with your 12th house. So you might want to know the sign, the ruler of your 12th house and know any planets you have in your 12th house. Cause this is like sinistry, like 12th house sinistry. You, there is a Pisces or 12th house person coming into your life. There's deception coming with this person. So there's, you need to um, isolate for a little bit and think things through. Don't be impulsive. You need to be really like mature in this situation. Don't be impulsive. Don't give in to your impulses. Um, it, you've got to show that, that you've learned some sort of karmic lesson here, especially when it comes to the occult for some of you. You're, for some of you, you're going to be going through a test. It might be the 12th house person or the Pisces that's going to be testing you. 
you're being tested on what you truly want, what you want to create, um, as well as like your maturity, because I do get there's an energy here where Scorpio situation is coming to you that you could become immature and ruin the situation. It's a, like a blessing, but it's going to require you to, it's something you haven't done before. It will lead to success. It will lead to fruit in your life, especially I'm getting um, winter time is significant, but um, it's gonna require you to pull in a higher version of yourself. You don't wanna approach this from a like impulsive, lower energy you you've got to approach it from a higher vibration here and show your maturity show that you've you've learned lessons it's a challenge that's coming to you it's also going to be a balancing act here i get that you have something like major coming in scorpio but there's an energy of um there's an energy of sabotage don't allow other people to sabotage. I don't get that this is like a dire, like life or death situation for you, Scorpio. I truly get that you've had clarity on this situation. You truly have had clarity. And if you play your cards right, is what they're saying, you can easily overcome. This is not like a major challenge. This is just a karmic test that's coming back up for you. And I get that... Um, if I pause or you see me looking off, it's just because the energy is very intense right now. Yeah, that's what I, it's, it's a dark energy, but it, it's, darkness brings wisdom. It's not a darkness that is going to consume you and bad things are going to happen to you. It's actually going to bring peace and it's going to bring connection because it's almost like you are connecting with your dark side so that you can become whole and know who you are. You really have to meet your dark side and overcome the challenges, especially like the vices of your dark side so that you can, uh, Jupiter energy, again, it's Pisces. Your subconscious is important here. When it comes to the Gemini energy, somebody wants me to clarify the Gemini energy, they're still immature. If they come back towards you, it's because they are seeing you thrive. And for a lot of you, this younger energy is going to come towards you when something happens with this Leo, whether you're the Leo and you're coming into like your creativity, you're coming into a season of like having fun and being out there. Like you might be coming out of hermit, um, a hermit phase in your life and you're you'll be coming into blessings especially like out in the public and like connecting with people and having fun be careful not to accept people back into your life that treated you bad and treated you like you were boring treated you like you were just an option to them and you were like the shittiest option like there's an energy where somebody made you feel bad and for a lot of you it's a gemini placement this person like ghosted you they talked poorly about you. They picked a fight with you. This person just made you feel less than. It's because they're unhappy with their life. They are not in a, they're unhappy. They're not content with where they are in life. So something about you, they, um, this person might have, um, Scorpio, they might even have been in like a depressive episode, which like you have to like pick your poison when it comes to mental health. If you cannot handle somebody in their depressive state, I would not get involved with somebody that has depressive episodes. If you really love and care for this person, I would suggest that you truly look into whatever mental illness they have. That's honestly like an act of love because if somebody has mental health issues and you go into it and then you resent them for the symptoms of their mental health issues, um that is really you not being good to them that that's really something that can come back to you karmically especially something like depression if you are the type of person that you cannot handle a person being in a partnership being close with somebody that goes through periods where they have a hard time getting out of bed and taking care of themselves and they're feeling depressed and like worthless you don't have to take it upon yourself to fix them or help them but if you can't be supportive or at least like give them space until like they're ready 
if you're somebody that's going to resent your friend for canceling on you because they're in a depressive episode, you should not be getting involved with a romantic partnership with somebody with mental health that has depressive episodes. You know, that's just... That's just common sense. For some of you... With your subconscious, it's an act of self-love to learn more about a mental health problem and seek help for it. And that there's always, no situation is brought to you in life without the opportunity for transmutation. Nothing, no challenge is ever brought to you in life without the opportunity to um, learn and grow from it. That's, that's a big aspect of like the point of life is to evolve. You have a lot of doors that are going to be opening for you. Don't let this person from your past, like, stop you. For some of you, I'm telling you, this is somebody that ghosted you, that treated you like an option, that made you feel like you weren't important to them. They acted, like, bored with you. They might have even been the type of person that, like, they're on their phone the entire time you're on a date. Like, this person, like, went out of their way to make you feel like you weren't good enough for them or that you weren't significant to them. And I get that they're going to have clarity now that um, that you're really attractive. It's almost like them, and that's that's the secret that they're going to hide from you. A past younger person is coming back towards you because you're going to be standing in your power. So you're you're going to have things working out for you. You're going to be very attractive, and for a lot of you, you're attracting in a, a new mate. But it's almost like that, like, you know, when you get into a relationship and then like within the week you have all these exes, like past situationships, exes, like woulda, coulda, shoulda, people from your past, that's significant too. There might've been somebody that you had a like, will they or won't they sort of situation and they never pursued you and they, they chose other people over you. They might've even like friend zoned you. And now that they see, uh, for a lot of you, it's, I'm going to say heteronormative, but take it how it resonates. You have a partner coming in that is going to be um, more successful, more, sustab more established, more respected, more respectable. Um, they're just going to be on another level. So when you partner with this person, you are going to have immature people from your past come back around. But it, it's truly a, like of FOMO. This is somebody that has FOMO. It, it's almost like they rejected you. Um, there was an, there was an opportunity for them to commit towards you. They had an opportunity to commit to you, Scorpio, or you, them. And, um, they didn't. And the thing is, is they didn't because Scorpio, at the end of the day, you deserve somebody that chooses you and pursues you. And you have somebody coming in that's established that, um, they might be an entrepreneur. I get that they are stable. They, uh, far more than this past person. Yeah, they're older than you. You have an older person coming in. For some of you, they, they have a beard. Look, it's, it's funny because it's keeper. You have an older, the older person coming in towards you, they're a keeper. And I get that this might be somebody that you have, for some of you, this is somebody that's going to make you a mother. This is, this is like your person that you are going to have a family with. Yeah, after a period of like deception. But again, you have people coming in that are like seeing you being fruitful and now wanting to like rush towards you because whatever, whatever shiny object that distracted them before, um, you know, either it was stolen away from them. It, it was a, uh... that's what I'm telling you. They're realizing that the grass wasn't greener and they're going to want to come back towards you. And it's because you are going through a period of success or you will be soon. And you're attracting in a potential partner that is going to boost you to the next level. A lot of people, um, will want to come back towards you when, especially I, I don't want to be stereotypical, but it happens a lot with like men towards women. Men will overlook in their youth, they will overlook the woman that had true potential to be something. 
um, because they wanted to have fun. A lot of times if they're very like material based, they, they want the, to partner with the person that is physically attractive and that's going, that's lusted after by others so that, you know, it makes them look better. This is, this might've been like a social status climber. <sighs> Whatever the case. I'm sorry I didn't get a headache. So for some of you, it might be an Aries placement or you might have Aries. You also might be dehydrated. <laughs> um, there will be challenges, Scorpio, but you have to trust that you have learned and you have grown from the person that you used to be and that any challenge that presents itself, you'll be able to overcome. And they're saying do it with dignity. Right now, you're at a point where you don't know which way to turn. You don't know where to go. You feel kind of like stuck weighing your options. It's creating burdens in your life. But I'm telling you, a tower is going to come out of nowhere. A tower is going to come and you're going to realize that you're a lot more powerful than you thought that you were. And that anybody that seeks to like block you on your path, they're going to get knocked out of the way. So... All in all, I'm getting that whoever this person was that rejected you to begin with, it's because they weren't a keeper. They were just somebody on your path that meant to come in for um, a season and and a reason so that you could align with this, this emperor that's coming in. Aries for some of you, but for others of you, it's, it's Leo I was talking about, the Leo placement. Might have both. Yeah, they're saying just like sit back. <laughs> One of them said sit back and enjoy the ride. Um, spider webs might be significant. You might be like running into a lot of spider webs. Just trust that um, challenges will arise, but um, you're going to be protected. You're going to be guided and you can trust yourself to make good decisions and make sure that you're moving forward. Don't move backwards, especially um, don't fall back into old habits because you have something really great coming towards you. So don't settle and don't, um, don't allow fear to keep you from leaving your comfort zone. Okay. I'm going to let that be the end of our reading. I will see you guys again soon. Bye.